If you have a brand new Xiaomi 13 device or you just got the new MIUI 14 update, this video is for you. Here are some of the first things to do and some hidden settings and hidden features that you need to know about if you want to get the maximum speed and power out of your device. First things first, let's decorate. The wallpaper menu is slightly different now with MIUI 14. The options are out of this world, but some of the best Xiaomi wallpapers are now hidden. To access them, do this. Pinch the home screen, go to the gallery icon, go to profile, go to wallpapers, and here go to super wallpapers. I like the Snowy Peaks super wallpaper. It reminds me of that time I was at the top of a mountain in Colorado with my cousins, and I hadn't ever touched the snowboard before in my life. It was a painful experience, but I did learn. Did you know the newer Xiaomi phones are so fast that Xiaomi actually dials them back, slows them down a bit? So you already know what I'm going to say. Let's turn it up. Go to settings, home screen, and animation speed. Now let's change the animation speed from relaxed to fast. So if you have a new phone, there's a good chance you have a lot of unused storage space at your disposal. Why not convert some of that storage space into a turbo booster for your device? To do this, go to settings, additional settings, memory extension, and now let's dial this up to seven gigabytes. This will allow your phone to handle more things at once without slowing down. And if you need that memory back one day, you can come back here and turn it down. But always remember what the wise man Little John said, turn it down for what? As far as I can see, there's no point in having a Quad HD plus 120 Hertz display if you're never gonna see it at its full potential. So take a look at these settings. Go to settings, display, refresh rates. Now set this to custom and choose 120 Hertz. And now it's important to know this doesn't lock the display at 120 Hertz permanently, but it does prioritize it and it will still adapt on the fly when needed. And here's a little bonus tip for you. If we go back one step and check the resolution your phone is currently on, on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, by default, the resolution is set to Full HD+, which just won't do. If you can, then you should turn it up and see what you think. Now, even though we've added a lot of speed to the device already, there's still another Turbo Boost feature which isn't in place on day one. So let's put it in place for emergency use only. Swipe down from the top right corner of the display to bring down your quick settings. Tap the pen icon. Now, drag the performance mode up onto your quick settings menu. This setting here will divert all of the phone's power to the forward thrusters. And when it's time to make it so, just hit this switch and you are good to go. Make it so. Now listen here, I know what you're thinking. If I'm to do all of the things that I've just showed you, yes, that will increase the speed of the device, but it will also increase the speed in which I'm using the power on the device. And that is true. But for every problem, there is a solution if you look for it and you're in the right place and I'm about to show you how. So stick around. Go to settings, go to battery, click on where it says battery at the top and go to boost charging speed and enable boost charging speed. This is one of the settings that Xiaomi have turned down, but for what? Because with this on, your phone can charge at the maximum charging speed on this particular device. All right, here's another one. Go to settings, battery, and go here where it says fix to battery usage issues. Yours might say optimize items. Now this menu is brilliant because it's a collection of some of the well hidden power saving settings within the sub menus. And the great thing about this is you can even see how much additional power you're gonna get in minutes if you tick these boxes. But before you go ahead and switch all of these on, there's some manual settings that I wanna show you first. Remember that RAM expansion that we set up earlier? That keeps things ready to go in the background on your phone in the random access memory. And sometimes if it holds on to things for too long, it could drain your battery more quickly. So here's the solution for that problem. Go to settings, go to battery, hit the cog in the top right corner, and here where it says clear cache when locked, set this to 30 minutes. Now, whenever you lock your phone and don't use it for 30 minutes, it will clear that RAM. And the next time you wake your phone, it will be re-energized with a clear mind. Okay, so now let's get into the settings that will improve your user experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Here is a hidden menu that will allow you to make everything look better thanks to AI. Go to settings, display, and scroll down to AI image engine. Now, like I said before, if you can, then you might as well see how these look. Switch all of these on, and remember, you can turn them back down 
if you want, but you already know what little John would say. Turn down for what? Okay, now let's do some quick fire tips. Go to settings, display, dark mode. This will not only save power, but it also makes your device look more awesome in my opinion. And also while we're here, I suggest setting up a reading mode on a schedule because blue light has been scientifically proven to ruin your sleep. And I don't know about you, but I can barely string a sentence together if I don't get enough sleep. The always on display is a modern day replacement for a wristwatch. Might as well use it. And why not set it up with one of these beautifully designed animated clocks while we're here. Now do this, go to settings, go to always on display and lock screen, go to sleep and set it to 30 seconds. This is what the Samsung Galaxy and iPhones default to. And it seems to be the sweet spot for screen sleep time. But one of the things you can do here is enable the direct gaze option. So this will keep an eye on your eyes. And when you take your eyes off of the screen for 30 seconds, then it will lock. This will save power and it's also good for data security. If you have a curved screen like this one here on the Mi 13 Pro, one of the undeniable advantages is that you are able to see notifications even when the phone is face down. But only if you do this, go to settings, always on display and lock screen and notification effects. Choose what effect you like and thank me later. Now here's a MIUI 14 upgrade on the lock screen. See this little dot in the bottom left corner. If you tap and swipe that into the right, you now have a new quick shortcut menu. These tools could be useful to you, particularly the infrared remote control one and the flashlight. And the wallpaper carousel here is pretty nice too. Did you know that there's a secret button on the back of your Xiaomi phone? That's what I would say if I was a clickbaiting TikToker, but that isn't technically true. However, there is a sensor in your phone that can detect a back tap. To enable it, go to settings, additional settings, gesture shortcuts. Now I suggest only using the triple tap action because the double tap is a bit too easy to trigger. And for demo purposes, I'm gonna set it to camera. Okay, if you wanna level up your productivity, do this, go to settings, go to additional settings, go to floating windows and enable the sidebar. You can choose specific apps that you want this to pop up on, or you can have it on all the time. And here's one use case for this. Let's say you're on a Zoom call for work or something like that, and you want to take notes at the same time. Now swipe to bring the sidebar out and choose the notepad app of your choice. And you'll see it floats on top of whatever's in the background. You can take your notes, you can move it around and you can even pin it to the side when you don't need it. Now, since we're talking about multitasking, here's how to make using your Xiaomi phone easier with one hand. Go to settings, go to additional settings, go to one handed mode. And now you'll see the like and subscribe button are now even easier to reach. Now here's one that's close to my heart. Go to settings, additional settings and heart rate. Do this to check if you're still alive or dead inside because you didn't subscribe yet, even after my amazingly funny last joke. Have you heard about that new book, Wow? Well, long story short, it's all about privacy. And here's a recommended privacy tip. Go to settings, notification and control center, choose the lock screen tab. And at the top here where it says format, set this to show notifications, but hide content. Now only you will be able to see the contents of your notifications when you unlock your phone. Not everybody else around you when the notification pops up on the lock screen. Now here's a couple of camera tweaks that I suggest you make immediately. Go to your camera app. You could do the triple tap if you set that up already. Scroll all the way to the right hand side where it says more and then hit the little settings button here. Here drag the maximum megapixel mode onto the start screen. Now you can easily access the maximum capture resolution mode without searching for it. Keep in mind the file sizes are much larger than the regular mode, but the details are by far superior. So be mindful of when you use this mode. And here's one more, go back to more and choose clone mode. If you don't know what this is already, prepare for your mind to be blown. And if you wanna see how the Mi 13 Pro compares to the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on because that video is on its way. And in the meantime, if you wanna watch an all Xiaomi camera comparison shootout in Germany, there's a thumbnail on screen right now. That is a collab video with a couple of other UK YouTubers. Go check that out. If you do, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.